Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released iOS 10.2 to the public. It's finally out after seven betas and actually if you're on beta seven, you have the final version. If you're on beta seven, you won't get the update, but if you do get the update, it came in at about 362.3 megabytes. Now, if you're on a previous beta or a different version, it may be larger, even up to almost two gigabytes, but for the most part, it's going to be around 362.3, at least on the plus devices. Let's take a look at the build number. And you'll see it's build 14C92, and this is the same exact build as we had for beta 7, like I said before. So if you're on beta 7, no need to update anything like that. Apple just keeps pushing out a lot of beta updates. So maybe we'll see a 10.3 beta soon, I'm not sure. But with this beta comes quite a few little changes and some nice additions, a lot of bug fixes, which is nice. And some of the major changes are in messages. And those messages have to do with emoji. They've updated this to Unicode 9, which means there's 72 more emoji. And Apple actually made up their own addition to it or added some. So there's over a hundred different emoji. Now, all of these are the Unicode 9 edition. So we have nauseated, we have a bunch of different faces, face palm. We've got different animals, a fox face, a gorilla. We've got different foods such as cucumber, carrot, croissant. We've got scooter and motor scooter. We've got different sports, boxing gloves, firefighter, judge. So quite a few different changes. They've also added some message effects. So if we go in here, type hi, send a message effect. See, so of course we have balloons, confetti, but now we have with love. We can send with love and it reflects whatever's on your screen. So that's pretty neat. Lasers, of course. And then we have fireworks. And of course, shooting star and celebration. So we've got all of those new ones. So that's nice. Those are all added to messages and they've also fixed a bug where the keyboard would disappear. That's been fixed within messages as well. So that's nice. They've also fixed the lock screen bug. So there was a bug to sort of bypass so you can get to photos uh, without it being unlocked. That's been fixed. They've also fixed that video crash bug where it would crash. And they've also fixed Bluetooth. So if you're having Bluetooth connectivity issues like I was with it dropping in and out, that's fixed as well. So those are all nice fixes that I was glad to see. If we go into music, they've changed some things here as well. So if you're playing a song and you slide up, we've got shuffle and repeat buttons now at the bottom. We've got some more organization options. So if we go back, uh, we go down to... I uh, got to keep going back here to playlists, not artists, playlists under playlists. We have some new sort options so we can sort and organize things a little bit better. We can show star ratings. Let's see if we can see that here. I forget where they put it, but there we go. Rate song. So we've got star ratings. We can rate it for whatever we want. So that's nice as well. And they've fixed some things in here as well. Now, one of everyone's favorite things is wallpapers and they've added some new ones. So if we go into settings, we'll scroll down to wallpaper and choose a new wallpaper and stills. And we have three new wallpapers. And the reason it's slow is I have over 68,000 photos and I did a separate video on that. I can link for you if you'd like, but there's blue, pinkish red, and this amber color. So these are all new wallpapers. They all look pretty good, very simple, but very good. So those are there as well. So that's nice. And if you want this wallpaper, there's a lot more fixes, but if you want this wallpaper, thanks to Jason for sending this along, I'll link this in the description. A lot of you are always asking for that. There's also a new app, as you noticed here, if you haven't seen this, this is the TV app in the United States, it replaces the video app, but you may not have it in all countries. So this is the new TV app that kind of categorizes and suggests things for you to watch. So you've got recently purchased movies, watch now, you can connect apps to it, and you have single sign-on. So you now have an option where you can connect once, sign in to different applications, and it will sign in across all of your Apple devices. That's an addition, those are in settings as well. So you can watch all of this right from here. It's one way to just kind of group everything together. Along with that TV app comes a new TV widget. So if we scroll down, we can go down to TV. We've got this new TV widget. There we go. And depending on what's in here playing, you'll see it pop up in there as well. So you've got that widget added as well. Now there's an SOS feature, which 
isn't included in this version. It's included for India, but if you click this home button or the sleep wake button rather five times quick, it will go into an SOS mode and alert someone. It will alert your emergency contact and make a siren noise and alert people nearby so they know there's something wrong. That's not in this particular version. I'm not sure why, but hopefully in the future it will be on all phones. Right now it's only in India, according to the notes anyway. I haven't been able to find it in settings or get it to work. If you have headphones connected, a little icon will appear up here. It's just a new icon for headphones to let you know what's connected. There's also some additions to the camera. So now if you go into camera, say we go into portrait mode, portrait is only iPhone 7 Plus, no other ones. Go back to camera, it will stay in portrait. If I go to photo, go back, go back in, it will stay in photo. Same for video. Before it didn't do this, it didn't remember your settings. So that's nice, that's been added as well. They've also fixed some things as far as stability and accuracy with different types of shots. There's bug fixes for the app itself so it doesn't crash. That's photos and camera. So they've fixed quite a few things between all of that. They've also fixed some bugs that have to do with FaceTime. So if you're using FaceTime and it's crashing or connectivity is not good, that's supposedly fixed in this particular version. There's also fixes to visual voicemail, Safari, and security. And Apple never really talks about what specifically is fixed in security, but they've fixed some things, I guess. They just haven't mentioned what. Also in mail, there's bug fixes to issues with the move sheets, long press, and deleting email. So all of these things have been fixed, at least they've talked about publicly. And there's a few little other bug fixes here and there. And there may be some slight changes throughout, but that's really all Apple talks about. Now there's updates to the watch that's also there. Uh, that particular update I haven't seen myself, but they should be some nice bug fixes as well. And I also received a carrier update. I'm on T-Mobile in the United States, so I know that some people received carrier updates, some did not. And that's pretty much everything as far as what's covered in this particular update. Now I expect to see 10.3 betas or maybe a 10.2.1. Apple will continually work on this until iOS 11 and then they'll continually work on that next version. So they just continue to update it and make it better and better. And I think this particular version has been pretty stable for me. I've been using iOS 10.2 beta 7, which is the same as this, like I said, for about a week, battery seems to be pretty good. Everything's stable. I haven't had any crashes or anything like that. I did have inbox lock up at one point. Actually, today it locked up. I'm not sure why. And that may be something to do with just my phone specifically. But otherwise, it's been pretty good. Everything's working well. I'd love to hear what your experience has been with this particular update. Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.